வணக்கம் மே ஹைதர் அலி சையத் ஆசீர்வாதம் சார் யுனைடெட் அண்ட் தமிழ் சேவா குரான் சாப்டர் ஃபோர் வேர்ஸ் ஒன் தேர்ட்டி சிக்ஸ் சேஸ் ஐ ரீட் ஓ யூ ஹூ பிலீவ் பிலீவ் இன் அல்லா அண்ட் இஸ் மெசெஞ்சர் அண்ட் த புக் தட் ஹி ஹஸ் சென்ட் டவுன் அப்பான் இஸ் மெசெஞ்சர் அண்ட் த ஸ்கிரிப்சர் விச் ஹி ஹஸ் சென்ட் டவுன் பிஃபோர் அண்ட் ஹூ எவர் டிஸ் பிலீவ் இன் அல்லா ஹிஸ் ஏஞ்சல் ஹிஸ் புக் ஹிஸ் மெசெஞ்சர் அண்ட் த லாஸ்ட் டே ஹஸ் சர்டன்லி கான் ஃபார் எஸ்ட்ரே If one carefully closely study analyze the cult of comparative religion one could find that people in comparative religion are working for Satan Lucifer remember Lucifer who challenged Allah that he is going to astray mankind similarities between Islam and Christianity hope you remember this lecture by Dr Zakir Naik Dr Zakir Naik a comparative religion scholar is he working for truth or is he straying people from part of truth his lectures titles similarities between islam and christianity similarity between islam and judaism similarity between islam and buddhism similarity between islam and hinduism zakir naik lecture is based on logic dr zakir naik logic and prophet muhammad teaching are they on the same path whether his lectures are as per the guideline of quran or whether his lectures are satanic script helping lucifer in straying mankind from part of truth Quran chapter 15 verse 39 says I read He Lucifer said my lord since you made me go far astray I swear that I shall beautify for them evils on the earth and shall lead all of them mankind astray organization which beautify evil in all fields are in fact working for Satan Lucifer Lucifer promised to astray mankind from part of truth comparative religion scholars are working for Lucifer by straying mankind from article of faith on all books and all messenger If one blindly follows Dr Zakir Naik lecture then remember you are being astrayed from part of truth you lose your faith on all books and all messenger remember Quran is a book of faith remember a true believer would try to co- correct his faith as guided by Quran and would follow the footstep of prophet Muhammad Quran chapter 2 verse 285 says about the article of faith which prophet Muhammad and his companion had believed i read The messenger has believed in what was revealed to him from his lord and so have his have the messenger all of them have believed in Allah his and his angel and his book and his messengers they prophet Muhammad and his companion saying we make no distinction between any of his messengers and they prophet Muhammad and his companion say we hear and we obey your forgiveness our lord and to you is the final destination that is the day of judgment So you see Dr Zakir Naik under comparative religion arts straying people from the article of faith all on books and all messengers remember Lucifer promised to astray you rob you and your, from your iman and other word faith remember if faith is lost everything is lost how Zakir Naik is helper of satanic Lucifer come let's find out his lecture similarities between Islam and Christianity by comparative religion scholar Dr Zakir Naik Please ask yourself is there any similarity between Islam and Christianity The answer would be no there is no similarities between Islam and Christianity So when there is no similarity then why Dr Zakir Naik says similarity between Islam and Christianity Is he a slave of Satan Lucifer has he sold his soul to antichrist Islam is a way of life followed by all prophets including prophet Muhammad To confirm the statement let's check Quran chapter 42 verse 13 I read He has ordained for you of religion what he enjoined upon Noah and that which we re- have revealed to you O Muhammad and what we enjoined upon Ibrahim and Moses and Jesus to establish the religion and not to be divided therein difficult for those who associate others with Allah is that to wish you invite them Allah chooses for himself whom he wills and guides to himself whoever turns back to him Quran further says Prophet Muhammad is the last final messenger of that Islam which started among mankind from black adam speaking tamil language similarities between Islam and Christianity so what is christianity who founded christianity does christianity has any holy book does christianity has any messenger the answer is christian religion is not a religion of any messenger nor do they have any holy books christianity was founded by roman empire who under roman catholic exported their cult to the elites of europe Europe elites under Roman Catholic with principle of Varna Dharma and Manu the elites of Europe ruled their religion in white Jesus name under Trinity 
Remember, Trimurti of Varnadharam became Trinity in the Roman Catholic. Manushastra became Hellenistic law, while Pope became giver of salvation like Brahmins. Bible clearly mentioned that Jesus Christ's mission is limited to lost sheep of house of Israel. Jesus Christ's mission is not for Gentiles. Gentiles refers to Roman Aryan settlers. Who are children of Israel? Children of Israel are the 12 tribes of from house of Jacob. Jacob is from the bloodline of Isaac. Isaac, son of Abraham of Semitic black race. Semitic are black. So Jesus too is black and all prophets, Semitic prophets are black. Coming to the topic, similarity between Islam and Christianity by Dr. Zakir Naik. Islam is a way of life of all prophets, while Christianity is a religion started by Gentile Roman settlers. Roman Empire who persecuted Jesus and his tribe of Bani Israel of Semitic black race. Ask yourself, is there any similarities between Islam and Christianity? So what are these scholars of comparative religion? Are thug who are working for Satan Lucifer thus stealing your faith? All priestly cult who says God and talks about last day, they are not believers. Confirmed by Quran chapter 2 verse 8, I read. And of the people are some who says, we believe in Allah and the last day, but they are not believers. Remember, a believer is the one who protects all five articles of faith. Coming to other lectures of Dr. Zakir Naik. Similarities between Islam and Judaism. Is there any similarities? Come, let's see. In short, Prophet Moses is the messenger of children of Israel of Semitic black race, which is said in Bible and confirmed by Quran. Judaism is a religion started by white settler trading community. Remember, Aryan settlers had no messenger or book, as they are from genealogy of Cain the murderer. Torah, a holy book of children of Israel of Semitic black race. Torah and Prophet Moses are all part of Islam. Judaism religion of Aryan settlers has no connection to Torah or with Prophet Moses. Next lecture of Dr. Zakir Naik. Similarity between Islam and Buddhism. Is there any similarities? Let's find out. Remember, Quranic name of Gautam Buddha is Zulkif. Gautam Buddha by Ray Tamil, profession a native king who followed Asavigam. Gautam Buddha propagated Asivagam principle and opposed Varnadharam principle. Gautam Buddha said no human can give moksha or salvation. Remember, it was Emperor Ashok of Aryan settlers under Maurya Empire who killed genocide natives black who were following Asivagam principle and after getting reminded by Gautam Buddha. Remember, it was Aryan settler who started Buddhism in the name of Gautam Buddha and thus preserving Varnadharam, Manu and Brahmanism under Buddhism in the name of Maya Vadam or, or Theravada. Coming to the next lecture of Dr. Zakir Naik, similarity between Islam and Hinduism. Remember, the starting point of in human history are black Tamil nation. Cradle of civilization is Tamil Nadu, Sri Lanka, Kumari Khandam. Asiyogam, the real Islam started with Tamil, who lived in golden era until the coming of Aryan settlers. Term Hindu is given by Persian Aryan. Hinduism, a religion started by Aryan settler based on principle of Varnadharam, Manu and Brahmanism. Under Hinduism, black natives of in India from golden era were pushed into the era of untouchability. Allah thought by pen to first sit the Tamil Shiva under Asivagam, the real Islam based on creation and balance. How can there be similarity between God's religion Asivagam and with Aryan settler religion Varna Dharam, in other words Hinduism? The battle is between Dharam and Adharam. Truth is Asivagam, the real Islam. Allah chosen Adam Noha of Tamil na black nation and family of Ibrahim of Semitic black race giving them responsibility to royal bloodline of state allies Tamil Shiva under Pandit dynasty and to children of Israel to establish God kingdom on earth based on balance. All holy books belongs to Tamil nation and Semitic black race. All priestly cult created by Aryan settlers Roman Persian. Coming of Antichrist refers to coming of Aryan settlers who are from genealogy of Cain the first Antichrist. How can there be similarity between Native's holy book with the religion of Antichrist Aryan settlers. Remember, Jesus Muhammad never entertained them. Fan followers and students of Dr. Zakir Naik are helpers of Satan Lucifer, helping Lucifer to fulfill his promise to, of estraying mankind from part of truth. Thus, Dr. Zakir Naik is proving himself as a Luciferian. By ignoring Quran and diverting people, he is doing his job as a helper of satanic cult Illuminati because it proves that he sold his soul to Satan Lucifer and is serving the Antichrist Aryan settlers. Please understand Quran which reminds the straight part followed by all prophets that is Asivagam, in other words the real Islam, Nandri Vanakkam.